Many first-time qualifying marathon runners are excited to register for their first race. Not too often does a first-timer run a marathon without registering. I'm not really that scared about it. Um, I think I can do the volume. I've done 20 milers pretty fine. The trend of running as a bandit, a term that describes an unofficially registered runner, began in the early 1970s. For Riley, it also means you have to be careful on how he runs the race. <laughs> it means I have to be careful because if you know I have some sort of injury or something, the medical people aren't going to be very happy because bandit runners kind of weigh them down a lot. The Boston Athletic Association estimates about 2,000 bandits running this year. With no guaranteed medical assistance, Ryan believes his training makes copying a previous runner's bib number worth the risk. Ryan has been taking a class on how to run a marathon led by Jennifer Badalina. The students typically run 50 to 60 miles a week to prepare. You have to find time to run three or four hours at one point during the day. It's, it's hard um, and you have to be really dedicated and that's one thing about these students. They're definitely dedicated. Even though Riley is making a bold move, he has confidence in his preparation. I'm, I'm really excited for it. I don't think there's a whole lot more I could have done uh, between, with academics and all that. So. I, yeah, I think I've, I think I've done pretty well. For BU TV 10, I'm Patrick Thomas.